Welcome to New York City. Now play that song. Now we all in New York. World tour to LA. West side of Philly. Kicking goals like all day. Shout out to Ronaldo. Tell him pass the ball though. Mello at the free throw. Who you trying to guard though? Tell me kicking PKs. Lead that to Messi. When you come to Times Square, please don't test me. When you win the Big Apple, it could get messy. Shout out to Brooklyn. Shout out to Queens though. Shout out to Harlem. We be getting cream, bro. Yeah, yeah, we be getting cream, bro. Uh huh. Ladies and gentlemen, New York needs no introduction. This is the most famous city in the world. The yellow taxis, the big apple, the city that never sleeps. And actually, we're gonna grab into the fact that this city never sleeps. We're gonna go on beast mode and try and visit as many football pitches as we can during our stay in this absolutely wonderful city. Join us. This is gonna be awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, our first stop is the East River Park. Here in Manhattan, New York, right next to the Williamsburg Bridge. And this whole entire area is actually filled with places where you can exercise and do sports. People play baseball, they do ghetto fitness, and of course, play soccer. And here on this pitch, it seems like this is the go-to place for all kinds of age groups. We have kids, we have parents, cheering for the kids, teenagers, everything. Anyways, we have so many places we want to show you, so let's keep it moving. Join me. So, another awesome pitch we found is the Brooklyn Bridge Park Pier 5. Awesome little name with this place, which kind of gives away the location. We are right next to the world famous Brooklyn Bridge, and yeah, you can see the entire skyline behind us, the awesome view of Manhattan. It's looking over us and has been looking over us throughout the entire day when we were playing on this pitch with a bunch of awesome local people and we had a great day here. We've been here all day long on these three artificial grass pitches, but yeah, I'm dead tired now. I don't know if you can hear it from my voice, but New York never sleeps. I'm not gonna sleep. Let's move on. Let's go. People should come to New York in terms of soccer. It's uh, because everywhere you go here will be like you're playing a mini World Cup. So many different nationalities, so many different backgrounds, ethnicities. Soccer is a universal language and you're just gonna hear someone that you don't understand what they're saying, but you communicate through the ball. And I think that's, that's the beautiful thing about New York. I think that's the idea for a true soccer fan because you can just see so much of the world in one place. And that's you. Ladies and gentlemen, another day, another football pitch here in New York City. And this time a place called Pier 40, right by the world famous Hudson River, in the Manhattan side of the city. And as the story goes here in New York City, this place is surrounded by lots of big buildings. Also, the new One World Trade Center, which is pretty much one of the tallest buildings in the whole United States of America at the moment. Loving my time here in New York City, but now let's head over to Chinatown. Heard some good rumors about the football pitch there. Let's go. So we have arrived to the Sarah D. Roosevelt Park and even though all the locals know this place as the Nike Park, as far as I'm concerned it is not the official name 
of this place. Anyways, this awesome small sided pitch is located right on the edge of the Chinatown. And I must say there's a pretty awesome atmosphere around this neighborhood. And yes, even though the pitch has maybe seen its best days, at least this is a very authentic spot for a little kickabout. Definitely a nice place to visit if you plan on hitting New York streets. Ladies and gentlemen, our mission is still going strong and our current location is the Bushwick Inlet Park or the Kent as the local people here like to call it. Here in Brooklyn and yes, this is another extremely beautiful 11 aside pitch with a view over the Manhattan skyline. And although we have seen this view many times already, I must say it still gets me every single time. We can't find anything like this in Europe. So let's just sit back, relax, enjoy the view and of course the football. Alright, that has to be enough football pitches for this episode and the only thing I can say is wow, I'm completely blown away by the amount of soccer we were able to find here in New York City. We went to a lot of football pitches and saw many many more but this time unfortunately didn't have time to visit all of them but the next time I'm coming back I'm definitely gonna spend more time exploring the soccer scene here in New York and in case some of you guys actually plan on visiting New York make sure you pack a pair of some football shoes with you because this place has a lot to offer for all you guys and girls out there who are in love with the beautiful game. Anyways, it's almost time for us to go, but before you guys click off this video, let me know in the comment section below where should I go next because as you might have seen, I love going to beautiful cities with beautiful football pitches. Leave your thoughts down below, I'm gonna go, but we'll catch you later on right here on Unisport Web TV. I'm out. Any confessions to get off your chest? I'd hate for you to lose sleep knowing you've been being the sun.